First, take out of all items from the package. The package includes manual, monitor, test wire, cigarette lighter adapter, power cord, antenna, 4 iron bracket, 3M sticker, camera, sunshade, yield bracket, windshield mount, and other accessories. Mount two of the antennas on the monitor. Install the third antenna on the camera. Install the sunshade on the monitor. Pick up the yield bracket. Align the bracket with the screw holes on the side of the monitor. You need to put the spacer on the screw hole in advance. Fix the monitor and bracket with screws. Follow my operation. The operation is the same as above. The bracket can be flexibly adjusted. Pick up the 3M sticker. Tear off the 3M sticker and stick it on the bottom of the bracket. Tear off the other side of the 3M sticker. You can stick it on the dashboard. You can also use windshield bracket to mount it to your windshield. Loosen the screw. Pull up the buckle and tear off the protective film at the bottom of the bracket. Then it can be fixed on the windshield. Loosen the screw. Align the bracket with the screw holes on the monitor and slide it in. Tighten the screws. After adjusting the angle, tighten the screw. Put it in place and pull down the buckle to fix the monitor. Now remove the windshield bracket. This has four IR lights. When night time, the IR lights will automatically light up. Pick up the test wire. Connect one end of the two connectors of the test wire to the camera. Connect the other end of the test wire's two connectors to the monitor. Pick up the cigarette lighter adapter. Connect one end of the test wire with one connector to the cigarette lighter adapter. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power outlet. Press the red button. The red button lights up. The monitor lights up and the image appears on the screen. The testing finished. Now disconnected all the wires. The easiest way is connect the monitor to cigarette lighter outlet. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power outlet. Press the red button. The red button lights up. The monitor lights up and shows no signal. Pick up one of the power cords. Connect the power cord to the camera. The black wire is connected to the negative of the ground. Reverse lights, running lights, tail lights. The red wire is connected to the positive wire of the reverse lights, running lights, tail lights. The image appear on the screen. Touch the CH key to switch to the CM2 channel. Touch the menu key to enter the menu mode. 
turn off the camera's power. Touch the OK key to enter the pairing countdown. Turn on the camera's power. An image appears on the screen, indicating a successful pairing. Touch the power key is used to turn off on the screen. The second and third keys have no effect in this case. Touch the CH key to switch the camera channel. In the quad screen state, touch the menu key cannot enter the menu mode. Touch the CH key again to switch the camera one channel. Touch the menu key to enter the menu mode. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the picture. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the OK key, the icon turns yellow. Touch the up or down keys to adjust the brightness. Touch the menu key to confirm. Touch the menu key to return to the previous interface. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the mirror flip. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to select the mode you need. Touch the menu key to return to the previous interface. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the mode. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to choose the split mode you need. Touch the OK key to switch to the next page. Touch the menu key to return to the previous interface. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the system. Touch the OK key to confirm. The first icon is used to adjust the delay time. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the time. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to adjust the year. Touch OK key to switch to the next. Adjust year, month, day, hour, minute, second in turn. After the adjustment is completed, touch the menu key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the P line. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to turn on the guide line. Touch menu key to confirm. When the H appear on the screen, Touch the up or down key to adjust the height of the guidelines. Touch the OK key, the M appear on the screen. Touch the up or down key to moving the guidelines left or right. Touch the OK key, the W appear on the screen. Touch the up or down key to adjust the width of the guidelines. Touch the menu key to return to the upper interface. Touch the menu key to return to the previous interface. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the CM setup. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the OK key, the icon turns yellow. Touch the up or down keys to turn on and off the CM1 channel. Touch the menu key to confirm. After a few seconds, the system automatically exits the menu mode. Touch the menu key to enter the menu mode. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the record. Touch the OK key to confirm. The cord is used for turn on and off the record. The second icon can turn on and off the rewrite function. The third icon can format the SD card. When you insert a new SD card, you need to format the SD card. Touch the menu key to return to the previous interface. When the SD card is inserted, enter the play function to watch the playback video. Touch the menu key to click the menu mode. Touch the V key to quickly turn on and off the guideline. Cover the camera with your hand. You can see four infrared lights on. Now demonstrate how to insert SD card not included. This is the SD card slot. Align the SD card with the slot and insert it. Press the SD card again to remove it.
the process of connecting the camera to the lamp line. T-taps T-taps has two holes and one hole is closed. The long line is the line of the lamp or the circuit line on the car. Thrust the car light line into the first hole. camera power cord plug the power cord into the second hole iron sheets clamp the iron sheet to the taps bottom 